So recently, there's been a theme in the videos that I've been putting up on YouTube. There's been a theme of glorifying traits that you find in cinematic villains. And evidently, this has been a thing. This has been a movement on YouTube and on social media called the Villain Arc. And I had no idea that such a thing existed until I just happened to notice videos popping up on my main page when I would go to upload a video talking about this villain arc, having the villain arc in the title. And many things on social media, many things on YouTube, many things that are pushed by algorithms are contrived. And many of these villain arc videos are very much contrived. They have this formula to them. But usually a movement is rooted in something genuine. There's usually roots in something that happens to be very real. And this villain arc is something that is rooted in a feeling, in a genuine desire, a genuine energy that is very real. And that energy or that, that movement is the awakening, awakening of many men in particular to the reality that nice guys finish last, that much of the values that you've been indoctrinated in that come from society, that come from your parents, that come from the conventions of the world, the matrix, are in fact there to keep you subdued, to make you weak, to make you impotent, to make you a slave to the structures of that matrix of consciousness. Values that encourage you to, to hold back on your aggression, to keep your mouth shut, to refrain from speaking out when you have a, a genuine belief that is different from what's being presented as the consensus norm. The encouragement for you to be polite, respectable, to be just a little good boy, doing what your mama told you, doing what your authorities tell you, and to go on and step about quietly. These values that subdue the soul are the reason why we have this push for a villain arc. Because when you push down your truth, when you silence your voice, when you hold back on your power, when you're not able to cultivate your true power, what you make is a dark shadow. A dark shadow that starts to feed off of anger, starts to feed off of hatred, that desperately wants to express itself. And what you find with these villains in these movies, they're very focused. They're very intentional. They are unapologetic. They are everything you're told to fear and you're told not to be. But yet part of you longs for the courage, longs for that freedom to be so unapologetic yourself. Part of you longs for that power that these villains tend to display. And so when you realize that the nice guys finish last and that you deserve better than being a nice guy. You could be so much more than a nice guy, people pleaser, doormat, impotent, subdued excuse for a man. Then 
you start to get curious about the darkness. You start to look into the darkness within you and you look for ways that you can express that and learn from it and have that darkness teach you to embrace the power that's within you to hone the skills needed to express power and to wield that power and to show up as a new resurrection fiery powerful potent man that always deserved and desired to show up in the world and when you can own that power and when you can express those dark desires in an honest, pure way, then you become what the architects of the matrix fear most. You become that agent of change. You become someone who is now taking their life into their own hands, taking their destiny into their own hands. And as someone who is effective as a warrior, as a leader, as an agent of transformation and change. And you get to decide whether your change is going to be positive or negative. And I say positive in something that is transformational of a life process that goes beyond your immediate gratification yourself. And then on the negative side, if all you care about is glorifying yourself and your whims and your pleasures and you choose to, to wield power that way, that gets to be your choice as well. But you only get these choices when you truly learn to embrace your own power and you're disciplined and focused enough to hone your skills, hone and master the skills, what you're good at, so that you can show up unapologetically in your power and go for what you truly want, just like these villains do. So that being said, I am Jason Abraham, the Shadow Teacher 33, and I am savoring the fruition of my own power in this moment in time. I'll see you on the other side.